What's up guys, it's SignFM here doing the final updated video. This is like my third video on Assassin's Creed Syndicate, every single weapon, outfit, cape, and belt in the entire game, including all DLC and unlockable content. It's all here. Let's get to it. So quickly moving in here, we are playing on a PC, uh, 1440p screen, uh, high settings I guess, ultra or equivalent settings, if you care about that kind of stuff. But uh, we will be doing the inventory showcase. That, you know, that's a lot nicer. The inventory showcase. Let's get to it. Bear in mind, all of these weapons are upgraded, so if the stats are slightly different to yours, that might be the reason why. So starting off with Kukri's. The Vorpal Kukri. Ivory Kukri. Adept Kukri. Ceremonial. Golden. Ruby Kukri. Iron Kukri. If I spot one that I know is DLC, I'll let you guys know. But um, I've kind of forgotten which ones are DLCs and which ones aren't, so... The Assassin Kukri, level 7. Ancient. Gold Blessing. Whoops. Master Assassin's Kukri. Serrated Death, Evil Splendor, Legendary Assassin Kukri, which usually would be the top, but now there is the Obsidian Kukri, which I think in terms of stats, pure, pu purely in terms of stats, I believe it is the best weapon in the game. Alright, moving on to the Cane Swords. We have the Impaler Cane Sword, so these three are DLCs, I think they, you come you get them through the Jack of the River DLC or Season Pass, which includes Jack of the River DLC. The Impaler Cane Sword, Initiate's Cane Sword, Noble Cane Sword, Adept Cane Sword, Abraz Murrah's Cane Sword, Copper Hammer Cane Sword, Ocean Cane Sword, Goddess Cane Sword, Mayan Cane Sword, Sir LeMay's Cane Sword, Sir LeMay's Cane, it's not a sword, so it's just a cane, Charles Dickens' Cane Sword, Gold Lion Cane Sword, Lord Pearson's Cane Sword, Obsidian Lion Cane Sword, Jade Dragon Cane Sword, I like that. Runic Mine Cane Sword, Ivory and Jade Cane Sword, Light and Dark Cane Sword, Flame Dragon Cane Sword. I'm trying to speed through this because I want this video to be quick. I made like three of them already. Night Terror Cane Sword, Dove Cane Sword. This is included in the, by the way, I can't believe this Ubisoft. This is not included in the Season Pass. This is included in the Dreadful Crimes DLC. Which was available, which is, it was a Times exclusive for PlayStation up until last month, which would have been March. And finally, the world's greatest cane sword. So these two are the same in terms of strength. Alright, moving on to the Knuckles. We have the Wallop Enhancer, Initiate Knuckles, Iron Manacles, Angel's Knuckles. Dirty Knuckles, Slinky's Fist, Crow Strength, Pirate Knuckles, Steel Knuckles, Darb's Bear Paw, Great Old One's Caress, Lord Jonathan's Retribution, Engraved Knuckles, again included in the Dreadful Crimes DLC, Lion Claws, Jaw Tenderizer, Death Knuckles, Copper Love, Master Assassin's Knuckles, and Eagle's Splendor Knuckles. Alright, moving on to the Assassin Gauntlets, we have the two DLC ones, we have the Nautilus Gauntlet, the Chronographic Piercer, and moving on to the normal ones, we have the Leather Gauntlet, Hardened Leather Gauntlet, Reinforced Gauntlet, Redback Gauntlet, Royal Gauntlet, Industrial Gauntlet, Black Leather Gauntlet, Mirage Gauntlet, sorry about that guy walking past, Iron Death Gauntlet, Assassin Gauntlet, the Devil's Handshake, the Devil's Handshake, the Chimera, 
in the Legendary Assassin Gauntlet. So this and these two DLC ones are the same in terms of attack. However, these are level 7, so you can actually equip them earlier. Moving on, we have the Rend or Sunder DLC. Then we have the Derringer Pistol, Pocket Pistol, Model 1 Revolver, Bullseye Revolver, Demonic Revolver, Unleash Hell, Stealth Revolver, the shader seems a bit off on that, but I won't argue. The 54 bore 1856 revolver, single action army, Lancaster 4 barrels, 38 double action, M1877 lightning, M1877 thunderer, the model 3 revolver, the self loading pistol model 1868, and the Mars which you get from completing all the Ned Winyard associate missions. Moving on to the belts. We will go to the capes later with Eevee. We have the Belt of Good and Evil, the Fisticuffing Belt, and moving on to the uh, standard game belts, we have the Leather Belt, Initiate Belt, Rough and Tumble Belt, Dark Leather Belt, Adept Belt, Suave Belt, Iron Belt, Noble Assassin Belt, those must have been some DLC ones, but anyway, the Thief Belt, Sassy Assassin Belt, Greenwood Belt, Crossroad Belt, Sanjuin Belt, Metal Web Belt, Reaper Belt, Eagle Splendor Belt, Iron Scale Belt, Eagle Dive Belt, Black Death Belt, Spring Heel Jack Belt, Master Assassin's Belt, Legendary Assassin's Belt, and the Beer Collector Belt for collecting all the beer bottles in London. And finally, the, the outfits. We have Simply Jacob, and you have all the special traits down there. I won't read them, but we have Simply Jacob, Gunslinger Coat. Outdoorsman Outfit, Master Assassin, Blackguard Suit, Maximum Dracula, which is the one I am using right now, Baron Jordan's Finery, Ezio, Edward, Huntsman's Outfit, dude I love that hat, <laughs> Suave Outfit, The Creature's Rags, and Dr. Daniel's Garments. And colours, you have colors, which don't affect all the outfits, but it does affect Maximum Dracula, so if you like colors, there you go. Alright, moving on to Eevee's capes. To Eevee's capes. We have the Count's Cloak, Cloaking Cloak, Red Cloak, Thrifty Cloak, Hunter's Mantle, Blackjack Cloak, Orange Silk Cloak, out of the Blue Cloak, Killer's Lace Cloak, Crimson Wing Cloak, Patchwork Cloak, Eagle Dive Cape, Lady Viola's, Vinola's Cloak, can't really pronounce that, Stormy Night Cloak, Country Cloak, again included in the, uh, well, now I forgot the name, that DLC, the Dreadful Crimes DLC, Cloak of the People, Light and Dark Cloak, Gold Red Cloak, Flame Silk Cloak, Emerald Isle's Cape, Lady Sorelli's Shawl, Legendary Assassin Cape, Cloak of Victory, Royal Cloak, and the Aegis Cloak. So these two are the same, but this one suits the outfit better. And moving on to outfits, we have Simply Eevee, Military Suit, Defender's Garb, the Aegis, Lady Melanie's Gown, Master Assassin, Nightshade Cloak, Elise from Assassin's Creed Unity, uh, Avalyn from Assassin's Creed Liberation, Shaojun from Assassin's Creed, I think Chronicles or something, Nighthawk outfit, Blue for Lady outfit, and Dr. Daniel's garments for Eevee. And that is it. That is every single thing in the game, inventory, DLC, it's all unlocked, it's all upgraded. It took a while, but it was, uh, it was fun. As always, thank you so much for walking, watching, <laughs> walking. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.